Welcome to an inside look at the powerful autofocus systems in the Canon EOS Rebel T7i. If you're thinking about stepping up to your first interchangeable lens camera, or if you already own an older digital SLR and are considering a new and updated camera, this video will show you some of what's possible with its powerful 45-point autofocus when you shoot through the viewfinder. Keep in mind that there's a different powerful focus system, dual pixel CMOS AF, when you shoot using live view or record video. The traditional optical eye level viewfinder is an excellent tool for great pictures. By optical, I mean that when you look into the viewfinder, you're looking at an image delivered directly by the lens, not at an electronic screen. You see the light in the scene directly, so you never have to interpret the scene in front of you. There's no visual lag or delay if you quickly move the camera, or if subjects move rapidly. Your viewfinder won't stay blacked out during a fast sequence of action pictures. With the camera at your eye, it's easier to hold steadily, which means sharper pictures. Optical viewfinders use a lot less battery power, since there's no electronic screen that has to be continually refreshed. And the autofocus is truly superior to even the best live view focus systems, especially with moving subjects. Look into the viewfinder of the Rebel T7i, and you'll see 45 points to focus with. This gives you powerful AF coverage over most of the picture area. This is the first time Canon has used such an advanced AF system in a lightweight Rebel series model. One of the most important parts of this AF system is what you don't see. With most Canon lenses, each of the 45 focusing points is what's called a cross-type AF point. In other words, each point actually has two different sensor lines arranged like a cross. The benefit is that each focus point gets twice as much information from your subject than less advanced single-line systems do. This really helps when shooting in low light or with subjects that don't have a lot of detail and texture. The Rebel T7i can lock in quickly and responsively. This is even more important if your subjects are moving. The shooting mode you set on the camera's mode dial tells the 45-point AF system how to work. In any of the fully automatic basic zone shooting modes, like the green full auto mode or the scene modes, the camera uses automatic AF point selection. Let's talk about that for a moment. You'll see a thin black outline around the AF point array when you look into the viewfinder. Anytime you see that outline, the camera is telling you that it is going to pick the focus points for you automatically. Press the shutter button halfway down, and the camera not only focuses on your subject, but individual squares appear inside the border lines. These are the actual AF points the camera has chosen for this individual scene. The squares tell you where the camera has focused. Take your finger off the shutter button and press halfway again, and the process is repeated. Each time, the camera takes a fresh focus reading and assigns the AF point or points needed to deliver sharp focus. This makes it easy to get sharp photos every time. But since this is happening automatically, how does the camera decide? Basically, the camera is looking for the nearest detailed subjects within the black outlines and attempting to put sharpest focus on them. This means the camera is less likely to miss your main subject and focus on a background instead. There are two automatic shooting modes where autofocus through the viewfinder will act differently. In sports mode and in the special scene kids mode, the camera expects a moving subject. You'll see one small square inside the black outlines when you shoot in either of these settings. The black box is your starting point, and the camera wants to begin tracking the subject with that AF point. Once you begin, if the subject moves, the camera will automatically switch AF points to follow it and work to continually keep your subject in focus. That box appears at first at the center of your picture area, but if you want, you can move the starting point for AF anywhere inside the 45-point array. Just press the small AF point selection button on the back of the camera, and then use the four control key buttons on the back to move it up, down, left, or right. If you were shooting a moving car or bike, for example, 
you could move it to the far left or right so that you begin to focus as the subject enters your frame, and the camera can then track it across the frame toward the opposite side. Now let's talk about really controlling autofocus. You can have a lot more control if you switch to a creative zone shooting mode. That's the P, TV, AV, or M shooting modes. You can still use automatic AF point selection. The same thin borderline will appear. But the EOS Rebel T7i allows you to change what we call the AF area by just pressing the small AF area button on top of the camera. Each time you press it, you change the size of the AF area used for focusing. You can shoot with just a single AF point and move it to any of the 45 available locations. You can shoot with a cluster of AF points called Zone AF or an even bigger cluster called Large Zone AF. The camera will focus on the nearest subject it sees within your zone, and you can move the zones around the viewfinder as well. Or you can go back to automatic AF point selection. You'll know you're there when you see the thin outlines appear in the viewfinder. We've shown you how to use the EOS Rebel T7i's focus system with its optical eye-level viewfinder. And we've assumed that for the most part, you'd be using the camera automatically. But remember, the Rebel T7i can grow with you as your photography skills improve. Whether you want automatic convenience or prefer more user input, the autofocus on the T7i is a powerful system that can deliver sharp pictures, even with challenging moving subjects like sports and wildlife, especially if you're using a telephoto lens. This AF system really shows what a digital SLR camera can bring to a photographer. In our next episode, we'll take a look at the Rebel T7i's dual pixel CMOS autofocus, which is how the camera focuses when you're using the LCD monitor as your viewfinder.